This is interesting. Later this week, a rare total lunar eclipse will be in our night sky. But, uh, well, we might not be able to see it due to clouds. A lunar eclipse is when the Earth's shadow will darken the moon, turning it a deep shade of red. So if we do see the eclipse, if we see it here, we'll be looking. It can be seen just before 1.30 Friday morning with peak viewing close to 2, 2 a.m. The next lunar eclipse across the U.S. will be next March. And I know our Anthony Slaughter is all over it. He's also tracking the chances of seeing the uh, maybe some uh, weather impact alert stuff happening later this week. Anthony, what is going on? Yeah, so first uh, let's talk about the eclipse, shall we, yeah. since we're on that topic. Uh, and yes, overnight, Thursday night into Friday morning, you may be actually able to see this. Our storm chance comes in on Friday, but Friday night into Saturday morning. So we could have a clear sky overhead or maybe even just a few clouds. Bottom line, the partial eclipse gets going about 1247 here in St. Louis. That's when you'll start to see the shadow. The total eclipse will begin about 126. That's when the whole shadow will be there and that'll start to turn a little bit red. The maximum eclipse where you'll have this blood red moon, that's going to be from 159 in the morning until 231 in the morning before it starts to do this in reverse. And that'll happen until about three. So if you're an early riser, if you usually get up about this hour, just maybe adjust the clock or maybe if you, uh, you know, get up in the middle of the night to do your business, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just peek out the window.